me a film um, called Hidalgo I, when it was a, about a man and his horse in the desert and stuff and I I, I read the uh, the screenplay and I just didn't think it was for me um, but I wanted to have a meeting with them because I at that point I had a um, two-year-old uh, yeah two year two Two and a half year old daughter, and so, or three, and and and, and I, for three years I watched nothing but animated films, uh, uh, cartoons from Tex Avery to Bugs Bunny to um, that, that 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 was all I, I I watched with my with my little girl. And I received the screenplay for Pirates. And it was, a, I, I somehow in my mind, I saw this opportunity, like a, a way to mesh characters like, car, like cartoon characters. For example, Wiley Coyote gets a boulder dropped on his head and he's completely crushed, but in the, they cut to the next scene and he's just got a little bandage on his head. So I, I started thinking about the, the parameters uh, that, are, that were available to cartoon characters. And if they were available to cartoon characters and, and, and nobody ever asked a question, whether you were five or 95, you didn't ask a question. Oh, Wiley Coyote, of course he's still alive. So I tried to incorporate these, uh, these kind of ideas into the character of Captain Jack Sparrow so that, so, 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 so that I could try to push those parameters and 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 control the sort of suspension of disbelief, the, to be able to control the um, characters' actions, words, movements, and put them in a place where the things that he would do or say were so either ludicrous or um, mainly something that also something to, to, the cartoon characters can get away with things we can't Captain Jack Sparrow can do things that I could never do he could say things that I could never say so it was for me a way to stretch the parameters of, of a character and uh, uh, and take, uh, take a risk uh, in doing that but if it if it panned out, I, 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 and I felt I was on a pretty good mission. If it panned out, I thought that it might be a character who would be accepted by five-year-olds and forty-five-year-olds and sixty-five-year-olds and eighty-five-year-olds, and in the same way that Bugs Bunny is, uh, you know. You mentioned believed. that. Sorry, you mentioned that you received the script. When was that? I'm sorry. When did you first receive the script for Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh, the 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 first screenplay I I received was uh, 2002, I believe. Yeah, 2002. And what did you think of that script when you received it? Um, I thought that it had all the kind of hallmarks of a of a of a Disney film, that is to say, a kind of a predict predictable, <coughs> predictable three-act structure um, with, um, with, and the character of Captain Jack was, was more, um, he was more like a swashbuckler type that would kind of swing in shirtless and, you know, be the hero. Um, and I 
I had quite different ideas about the characters, so I incorporated my notes into the character and brought that character to life, um, much to the chagrin of Disney initially. Now, when you say you made changes to the character, how did you do that? Um, just, you know, in, in preparation, you know, the, 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 the same, the very same way that I've ever approached any character, you, you, you look for a back history, you base it on, um, you know, it could be anything like Edward Scissorhands, for example, was I based on a, a dog that I'd had and uh, newborn babies. My sister had, had a couple of new babies, and I watched them, you know, and I, because I thought that Edward would see things from the the sort of un, the uh, from a place of innocence um, and n n not knowing exactly what things meant or were, and and also that that look of. Uh, uh, a pure, innocent child when they experience something for the first time. Um, those, those were the, the two main ingredients that I th thought would serve the character. And with Captain Jack, again the cartoons, you know the, the Pepe Le Pew. It was, a, it was a. Um, it, it's like it's like making a soup, you know. It's ingredients. It's just ingredients. Um, there's some Pepe Le Pew in there. There's some Keith Richards in there. Um, there's a bit of a you, you, you know. I figured that this is a guy who's been on the sea for the majority of his life quite possibly his brains may have been scrambled a bit by the sun. And also I thought that he'd been on the sea for so long that he had his sea legs, but when he got on land, he just didn't have his land legs. So he could never quite <laughs> stand still. How did the film ultimately turn out in your view? Um, I didn't see it. But uh, I believe that the film, well, I mean, the film did pretty well, apparently, and uh, and uh, they wanted to keep going, uh, making uh, making more, and I was fine to do that, uh, as uh, it was. It there's great freedom in in being able to. It's not like you become that person, but. If you, if you know that character, it, it, to the degree that I did, because he was not what the writers wrote, so they really weren't able to write for him. So once you know a character better than the writers, that's when you, um, you have to uh, uh, be true to the character and add your words, add, add, the, add the rewrites. Um, I was, uh, I, I, yeah, no, I, I, I believed in the character wholeheartedly and the, uh, initially the Disney uh, folks were somewhat upset. 